Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the eTrailer folding and tilting cargo carrier on our 2019 Subaru Forester. This is going to be one of the larger sized cargo carriers that we offer. It's 24 by 60 and I can give you quick measurements there on what this is going to do on the capacity on the internal dimensions, which in my opinion is the most important. And that is going to be right at 60. So this is going to give us that true 60 by 24, not the outer dimensions. The inside ones are going to be five and a half. So that gives us really good capacity there. 500 pounds is what we can carry on this safely all the way around. It has good tie down points for ratchet strap hooks or cam buckle hooks. So we can get a lot of stuff back here to clear up some space in the back of the car. And that way we don't have to buy like an expensive roof rack system and add on a cargo box is just a good way to carry a lot of different stuff. Um, what separates this one from others is that we can tilt it away. So we can still get hatch access, you know, if we had this down, but whenever I actually own this cargo carrier and whenever we get somewhere, then we need to get something out of the back, but we still have it stacked up with our cargo bag. It's kind of a pain to get everything off. So we can take this stuff off and I pulled the wrong clip there. We'll take this clip out of the top one there. You can see we can tilt that away. So that would give us a little bit better clearance there. You know, if you could imagine this kind of angling out a little bit more, instead of being right here, it just gives us the ability to get into the back if you had that issue. You can tilt this back up, get this pin and clip in this position again. So that's a really nice feature there. I'm going to give you some measurements though, just so you have an idea of what this is going to add to the back. Because it will stick a little bit further out than some, and that's due to the mechanics there where it allows you to fold it and tilt it but it's going to add about 39 inches to the back of the vehicle. And it's going to have a nice raised shank there. Since it sticks out so far, you want it to be a little bit further up in the air. And that's gonna get us at about 13 and three quarters of an inch. So it's pretty high off the ground back here. You know, if you were on a pretty steep incline, you may have some issues with it. But what I like about it is I can you know, run my straps and easily access them to hook here. I have plenty of space back here to work. And that's going to be a measurement of about 13 and a half inches of clearance here. So another thing that's important is how much space we have between our exhaust. Um, you know, we've tested out the e-trailer aluminum cargo carrier, and that's a really good cargo carrier. It sits closer, it's lighter. You lose some of the tilting aspects, but with that one, the exhaust is really close. So this sticks a little further out. So this is only about, yeah, it's at 19 inches. So that's quite a bit further out than a lot of them. That means that it's gonna have a little bit better capacity of carrying some heat sensitive items like the cargo carrier bags that are popular with these. Um, if that was sitting too close to the exhaust, you might have some issues there. But the breakover point, before we fold this up, is still pretty high with this since it sticks out so far. So if we stacked our stuff up, you can see it's at like 29 and a half inches right there. That's pretty high up. The tilting aspect may not even come in handy with you unless you really got it high. And that would be some pretty tall items. But we'll get this folded up real quick because whenever you get somewhere, there's a lot of sh straight like fixed style cargo carriers out there. But whenever we get to our vacation spot, I like to fold mine up so it's not sticking out of the parking spot. So you can pull these pins and clips, tilt that up. I actually didn't even need to pull that top one. It was unnecessary, but we can get that fixed there. Now I'll just get that in that position again. And you can see we save a ton of space back here. Now, it will move around a little bit in this position, but it's not gonna come anywhere close to making contact with our vehicle. The closest point, I think it's gonna be 
right down here, which is still pretty far out. And that's at about maybe like five inches. Yeah, so let's try to get a little bit better view on that. It's kind of awkward to get down there. Actually, it's four and a half inches, I'm sorry. So no, no concerns of contact, even up here. That's sticking even further in there, so I think we'll be okay. And then if we take a closer look at how it attaches, this only works with two inch hitches. So we have it in two inch hitch today. And these hitches sit pretty far underneath the vehicle. So a common problem with cargo carriers is trying to get the pinhole lined up. And the further that is underneath the bumper, the more difficult it is to see it. So this hitch alignment tool is included, which is really nice. So you set it once, you adjust this to wherever your collar on your hitch lines up. So we'll get that put in place. We would tighten it down. Now the next time we go to use our cargo carrier, we don't have to look underneath there and try to feel around. We can just put it into the receiver tube until that hits the collar of the hitch. And then we know that our pinholes are lined up. And that's when we would insert this anti-rattle bolt that's included and then the clip. And you can see that it takes all the shake and play out. We don't have to pick up an additional part to do that because when you get a lot of weight back there, it's gonna move around if you didn't have that. Overall, I think that this is a good cargo carrier. Like I said, I own it. I use it for all of our vacations. It works out great for me. I like the capacity. I like that I can fold and tilt it up. And I think you'll be pretty pleased with it. But that's gonna do it for our look at the e-trailer folding and tilting cargo carrier on our 2019 Subaru Forester. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. 